Hello, everybody. This is a uh, one of my informal, unplanned, unscripted type videos of just showing what I'm working on and what I have been working on, mainly just to kind of put it out there into the world, let people see some of the stuff that I've done and that have never, you know, reached the light of day and see where to go with it. If there's interest in it, if I should keep going, uh, Basically, this is a completely frozen ocean world, but I've created special ocean biomes, okay? Now, Minecraft 1.13 is going to change the ocean significantly, so we're kind of seeing how to go with that. But uh, this is a regular ice, and then there's fragile and thin ice, so you can walk on this ice. If you jump on it, you will fall through. And then this is the ocean redesign that I've done, uh, mainly using Kof World. Um, it's generation plugins in a mix with mineralogy and underground biomes constructs, which hasn't come forward beyond 1.10.2. So this is 1.10.2, but a bunch of mixes of blocks along the ocean floor, including glowstone which creates some lag, quite a bit of lag in the world trying to update all the lighting. Uh, but I do have dynamic surroundings and stuff like that, which also adds bubbles. And then the coral reef mod, which adds bubbles. So there's issues with performance significantly at this point uh, on my computer. But, you know, it's... Just stuff where you can pre-generate chunks and work around it. But the ocean itself is gorgeous. This is what an ocean should look like in Minecraft. Um, now, I'm currently using night vision and water breathing potions for bright lighting. So you can see what's going on. But look at all these mixes of stone along the ocean floor with coral mixed in and these stalagmites formed of a whole bunch of different color coordinated blocks that just give this coral feel to them. Um, quite amazing. And then agriculture revolution, which hasn't come forward and does also create significant cascading render lag. Get ready to run out of my potions. Drink up. Um, in world gen, but it has some of the best underwater world gen that you're going to see in Minecraft. Um, but it's got some performance issues. Some of some biome generating mods have trouble where they get into a cascading render error where it's trying to update every new chunk that gets drawn goes through a, a, a recursive updating cycle. Um, and it, it's very significant in, in creating lag. So anyway, this is one of the, this is, these are the main ocean biomes here, right? So these are the areas that have, uh, elements added to them. These are added by Kof and then struct pro comes in and adds, uh, structures in here mushroom type structures, coral type structures um, that are all generated from schematics. A lot of the schematics I've gotten from Planet Minecraft are altered. And if this ever goes anywhere, then I will, of course, credit, give credit where credit is due. But this is all just test stuff to see how it goes. Then I've created these biodome, biospheres for certain biomes that have all the the biome blocks that you would need in here and you could get saplings and crops and all that kind of stuff in these biodomes. Okay. And they're put throughout the world. And then, yeah, sometimes you'll get crazy mixtures of where they, they intersect with each other. So the world gen itself is, is really gorgeous. Um, I could cut down on areas of it, to try to optimize performance and do different things. And so in some ways, videos like this are also asking for, you know, people more experienced than myself 
to assist in some of these kind of things. Um, I have had some contact with Skyboy, who does um, the Kof World Gen. So I want to bring this to his attention and see if he can help me optimize some of this stuff as well. Because I think it's beautiful, and we'll see how 1.13 affects um, what we do going forward. But, I mean, guys, this is Ocean and Minecraft. Um, so, let me go ahead and pull up Journey Map. I'll need to stop this video for a moment and look at and move to some of the biomes that I've created. So, let me go ahead and pause, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, so this is an o ice ocean biome, uh, and it has packed ice all along the floor. Then, you know, the structures generated in it, in it and it's a generally flattened um, biome where it's not as extreme, but you get some melting of the ice along the edge because of the glowstone, which creates a cool effect. Again, maybe a little bit laggy, not sure. On that one, how much the flowing water, because it's not really flowing water, but it is. Um, and then, of course, you get these rock counting. From rock counting, you get a source of wood that's this dead wood. And so I put that in, in certain spots, too, or allow it to come into certain spots. So this is an example of just a custom floor that's been created with the Kof World Gen. And it mixes in along with some of the other biomes. So you can see that I let the gravel be uh, exist in some places with a cold beach is a way to keep bits of gravel along with it. Uh, and then I have experimented with inserting inside of some of this gravel with uh, plant life. But uh, there's not a lot of underwater plant life mods that you know you could really work with i've done i was successful with doing it with biomes of plenty coral um but it has it doesn't want to stay in place usually so that is an ice ocean biome uh let me go to another one and i'll be back with you okay guys so here's another look at some of the biospheres and then the coral beds that come in and this is an ocean mountains biome so this one has um, higher mountains, obviously. The, the terrain has a wider range of, of growth in it. Um, and then I do less substitution along the floor, so it keeps itself a little bit. It allows more room C for this coral to form. So you have to use that as a technique uh, in certain places. Then I wanted to show you the deeper ocean one so we'll go ahead and swim to it and it's it's quite significant in its different levels so let's swim to it again i this cascading render okay so this is a significantly deeper biome here that goes all the way to bedrock and so you get these chunk walls but they're not really chunk walls they they are but you know they're shelves ocean shelves let me uh, go ahead and top up on my potions again quickly okay so you'll get these colored shelves along the edge and then in bedrock i have bedrock ores so this is a very ideal place to do mining underwater mining and the further you are away from your spawn, you'll get tons and tons of ores. So if I could ever get under control the ability to place mobs, which these biomes aren't bad. I've got biome hooks where I could place, um, you know, some of the uh, more intense ocean mobs, infernal type mobs or whatever. Um, but the... Mo and mo creatures is just pretty much screwed as far as it's underwater um, mobs. You can't, they want to float at the surface. I, I can't control them. I've tried in different ways and with custom mob spawner and all that, and it, 
you have to have custom mob spawner for those mobs. It's just, it's a mess on that. So um, I'm hoping 1.13 will change some of that. But anyway, this is the example of the deeper ocean biome, which is really designed to be a smaller biome, but to be uh, set up for mining in particular. And it, it's pretty striking with the combinations of uh, underground biomes, constructs, and mineralogy. So let's move on to some more. Okay, guys, so this one is a uh, kelp reef type biome where I was able to put sand along the bottoms and show that with the Cove World Generator, I could put in ocean plants. This, these are kelp from uh, Agricultural Revolution, but you can see that some fail in their replacement. And that's just, that's the, yeah, that's kelp. And there's just not, nothing I can really do about that. It'll just try to place it. And then if it fails, it'll just be a, a floating item, which again, lag, creates some lag. Um, because you have these entities. But it's pretty simple. This one, this one's just simple, but it's, it's just a test to see if you can place plants. I wish there was more variety of underwater plants and maybe at some point as I get delve deeper into mob development or uh, mod development, then I'll look into that. Um, but that's the kelp reef biome, uh, simple to do and just a simple biome, but that was the main test. And these do grow, of course, uh, but you can see that there's significant server lag right now because none of these squid are updating here. So see, they're just frozen in place. And so there's, there's definite performance issues all throughout this pack that, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to disguise. They just are what they are. Um, and again, maybe potentially more experienced developers could, help me work through some of these issues if if it's considered to be worthy of doing. Okay, guys, so this will be one that's a, just a block replacement, which is the easiest thing to do with Biome Tweaker, uh, where I replace the gravel with red sand and you know then use that as kind of a basis to put in structures, give it hooks, coral reef, stuff like that. Gives a different look to it. You can mix in clays and stuff like that as well. But this one's just a simple one. And then you can see more biodomes. Uh, some of these are included in Struct Pro as the underwater structures. And then some of them are custom made. But basically that's... I do have more biomes. But they're not as well developed or they're too laggy. Uh, too much... So I haven't quite found the mix yet between too much and just enough. Um, and then I do have other effects that I want to do if this is a survival playthrough pack. See, there was a biome zone or there was some uh, plant life that was placed but couldn't stay. So we saw it sit there and then pop off because it couldn't stay. Uh, this can stay. So it's kind of hard to force things sometimes into place. Um, but I just think the overall look is really amazing. And it may just be a cinematic type thing. You know, uh, I have several iterations where I've got different, like just enough fish and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I do have more survival oriented ones where that's, you know, world packs that I've made for this that has um, magma and stuff and then tough as nails because it's really cold here. And so you've got magma placed along the floor that you can heat up with um, different things like that. So there's different a lot of ideas that go along with this pack that I may show. But basically, I just wanted to show the worldview, show the big picture stuff of, 
or the world gen, you know, show the overall big picture of the world gen, what it kind of looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and let the uh, potion expire, I think. Yeah. And let's get a look at it without any potion. Because again, keep in mind, there's glowstone all along. So this is your actual view of the ocean. So you can really only see along the bottom, but you can. So when you're walking on the floor, ocean floor, you do have some view. But again, this may be some of the issues that create lag, but you can actually see along the floor of the ocean, which is good for survival type games and whatever to have these spaces, especially if there's, you know, creatures hunting you um, and things like that. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, just an initial viewpoint, an initial preview, I suppose it is. Um, and basically just a uh, soliciting for interest to see if, if this is, you know, something I'm just playing with that's cool or if other people think it's interesting as well, either like to see it develop further or participate in developing especially more advanced pack makers um, that have quite a few, quite a bit of knowledge. I've pretty much mastered biome tweaker in what I want to do. And then the, the Kof world gen, you could never really master it. It's, it's endless, but uh, I'm quite familiar with, with it. So anyway, guys, this is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and um, I do appreciate you. So uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.